I'm Woody and you're here again. Well, this is one of those vlogs that was actually going to be a blog post and I was going to write in about a week ago. Never got around to it. Thankfully I didn't because the story, the topic has actually moved on. Uh, last week it was reported, so it was reported over here, but I think it's more of an American story. Amazon reported that their Kindle e-reader device, that they were actually starting to sell more e-books through the Kindle than about any other e-readers but through the Kindle, and they were actually hardcover books, hardback books, and there was that sort of tipping point there that came along. And then they um, revamped their Kindle, probably this was all tied up with it, I'm sure, and they reported that they were going to revamp it, it was going to be smaller, shinier, cheaper. And that was one of the other things, it was going to be far cheaper. And of course, this is, there's the Nook, I think it is, which you've got, which we can't get over here yet, the Barnes & Noble device, obviously Sony have got their own devices, and then you've got the iPad, that big game changer, I think, and the one that's come along and has made everyone sort of up their game. Okay, the iPad isn't isn't the, the full ticket yet, shall we say? And I, one of the reasons I'm doing this now is because I've been thinking about getting one, reading all these stories, and actually looking at the, the Kindle, researching it a bit online, watching the video, seeing what it looks like. Because as much as I'd love to get an iPad, and I love the idea of it, and I really do believe that this is going to be a game changer, I think this is why everyone's up in their game, if you want to put it that way. Um, that's, that is a bit too expensive for me at the moment, present climate, all that sort of stuff going on. But all of these other people are coming up, and today I actually read a, an article in the paper about Rupert Murdoch, the uh, News International Chair or whatever he did. Leader, I don't know what his actual position is. News International, Fox New Media, and God knows what else. He actually came out and said that he felt that the iPad was a game changer. So there's lots of things going on here. And there's that, that sort of tipping point. And is this the end for magazines in their present form? Is this the end for books in their present form? He actually said, Rupert Murdoch, and OK, he's got a vested interest, that he felt that the iPad and other versions as well, because you can read newspapers on the Kindle as well, and you probably can on the others, I don't know, um, that it was encouraging younger people to actually read some of these things now. OK, we've had that with the internet, people can get this stuff for free, but looking at the Kindle devices, I don't know about the others, so they could be just as good or better, I, I really don't know. Um, but the subscription rates for newspapers and things like magazines, etc., weren't actually that bad. You can get free books on there, classic books, you can get them down, download them for absolutely nothing and obviously store them and carry them around and it could encourage people to read which is one of those reasons that's got me into it I said that I made a, a video not long ago called uh, books and reading and um, actually was contacted by somebody the other day doing a, like a dissertation for their for their degree and asking me for my uh, you know input into that because of some of the things that I've been saying about that and why was I blogging about it etc etc but I'm a great reader, and I wonder whether this is going to, these whole e-readers, iPads, etc., are going to change the nature of what's going on. Is the hardback book dead now in some ways? Over here in the UK, I mean, it seems to be different in America, but here in the UK, the hardback books, the hardcover books, are usually came out, come out before the the paperback book, books come. Obviously, it's a way of making money. Yes, some people prefer that sort of hardback book. Personally, I tend to prefer. Grab it. I tend to prefer the sort of, you know, this type. And this is the book that I'm reading at the moment, as it happens. Uh, Mark Radcliffe is a radio DJ in here over the UK. Uh, thank you for the days. And that's that's very good. So if you want to read that sort of thing, you're interested in uh, um, radio presentation. And uh, a guy who's about my age, lived, gone obviously gone through the same sort of era. So that's why I've got a vested interest. Very well written as well. And I've been reading quite a lot recently. Another reason I've been thinking about this. But... Wondering, having an interest in technology, having an interest in reading and books, what do I do now? Do Is it worth me while, while buying a book like that and then getting a Kindle iPad device or something like that and effectively having to buy it again? Um, and will I be able to buy the book? That's the point now because the hard covers are probably on their way out now. And that's something I've noticed over here once again is that hardcovers as I said used to come out and then the paperback would come out six months eight months later a bit like a film used to do a movie come out and then the DVD would come out a year later or something now that that has changed as well because probably because of copywriting and, and the way the illegal downloading of movies etc that's probably changed things it isn't quite the same with books I know and the piracy angle but the, the, the release dates have got closer and closer together. Uh, the hardcover books now 
uh, the paperbacks come out a lot quicker and sometimes don't seem to get, you know, it's sort of like a straight to, straight to DVD type of thing, straight to paperback or something, because of the, the way that it appeals. It might appeal to a certain audience. Certain people will read a paperback, but not so many people will read a uh, hardback. Over here, there's a bit of a snob value, I think, but as I said, uh, in other countries it might be different. I'd love to, to hear an American perspective on this and what the hardback uh, situation is because I know people do love to read them but what I like about paperbacks is they're portable hence the fact that the iPad, the, the Kindle etc has taken off I think is because of that portability you can carry around so much with it and also obviously it's not just books is it you can read as I said magazines you can read blog posts and, and everything like that as well newspapers etc so there's a lot more to it and obviously with something like the ipad the reason that that's such a big game player a game changer and i think is different to the others is that interactive quality having looked at one and having seen the the possibilities and what you can do with it a magazine you buy a magazine uh, a subscription there and you get that on your iPad and you look at it and you can actually interact a particular story comes up you press a button opens up the photograph you can get a, a sub story to it you could get a video about a particular play in American football game or a soccer game or a cricket match or something like that and you can see the video they can explain exactly what you're looking at there's that real interactivity exactly what we get on here on the internet but it's a portable internet yes we've got iPhones and that but these are bigger devices this is something I've tried reading things um, books or sort of long articles and magazine articles or something on my phone it's not yes I can do it for a short period of time and I do read blogs on my phone quite a lot I've got an application for it and it's great to be able to do that but it's just not the same as reading a book if it was something that looked a bit more like a book which I know that the, these e-readers tend to do then there's something different there. So I think this is a big this is a big sea change. I can see, see lots of things happening. It makes me wonder what's going to happen with the bookstores, etc. in the future, because they can't really sell, certainly not via the shop. I suppose they could have a plug-in way of doing these things. I don't know. But I, this is a big this is a big change here. As I said, there's few things that have come out literally in the last week that have really pushed this forward. It's getting more uh feature in the news now more coverage in the news now because of the way that the rise and the rise of the e-reader more and more people are talking about them hence this blog i suppose more and more people are getting interested in i know people who are buying them and to be honest people that i would never have expected to buy them i know talking to people online that they are very good to actually read on the proper e-readers they don't hurt your eyes you can read them for hours and hours etc the battery life's getting bigger everything's changing with them once again it's a big sea change with this whole thing so i'd like to know you know what you think about this and what i should do should i hang on and wait for an ipad to finish and actually get the finished article and gets considerably cheaper because that's that's an issue here so should i just wait and uh, get or just just get a kindle to use as an e-reader after all i've got a phone i've got a computer i've got a laptop do i actually need another interactive type of device when i can do that here i could just get any uh, a, a cheaper e-reader and say the kindle the, the prices with, with them is another thing they're bringing the prices down there's a little price war going on and i'm sure the prices of the books which look fairly reasonable i must admit are coming down as well obviously it's an easy way um, it's easier to sell them there than it is through a bookshop as I said, there's all that uh, implications of that coming along in the future. So there you go, lots of different thoughts there. Um, lots of ideas, exciting times, but interesting times, but quite worrying times as well, I think, for others, other other aspects of this. Thankfully, I don't work in a bookshop <laughs> or, or even in a magazine trade, but it could inspire the actual writers, the magazines and newspapers. It could be a way out for the newspapers and the reduced circulations, etc., that they've been they've been getting recently. Partly their own fault, but I know that way is changing. You know, Murdoch himself over here in the UK has got a pay a, a paywall up now for his Times newspapers and the Sunday Times. You can only look at the, the the websites now if you pay for them, and so that's a sea change there as well. And I, I know he's really interested in this going forward. Hence his comments, I expect, and probably playing it up a little bit. But people like him getting involved, people like Amazon, sort of jumping that little barrier there with the hardcover books all these different things coming out there this is the way forward this isn't going to go away that's another one of those things the genie is now out of the bottle and um interesting times ahead in the world of reading as long as i can still read as long as you know maybe the thing is with this is that i do 
as I probably said, there's something tangible about these things. There's something, um, you know, that sort of tactile thing about, as I mentioned in that last video. And that's the thing that I think a lot of people will miss. Um, but I suppose if the quality of the book is good enough on the on the e-reader, if you can fit as many in there, because you can carry a library around, a bit like you can, it's like a, an iPod, isn't it, it's for, for books and for reading material. You can have so much and you can dip in and out of it, I suppose. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, I will leave it there. That's it. I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.